right guys, so it's our last day for the Cityscape collages. Now, I have a pretty good start on mine, but it definitely doesn't look done. It doesn't have enough details yet. So the two things I'm gonna focus on today are one, adding more details where I think I need them, and two, if I have time, creating layers of details, putting details on top of other ones. All right, now, here's how to do that. So the first thing I need to do is come up with my ideas. To help my brain come up with ideas, I can use three, one, two, three strategies. Put a one on your finger. The first one is to look around you. We practiced that one last time and we got ideas for things like windows. We got ideas for things like different sizes of windows. I can even use this strategy to help me come up with my layers. So I notice if I look over here at the door, that the door has a handle. Well, I could add that detail on top of a door I already have here, and that would create a layer because it's on top. Now, another strategy we can use is to look at pictures or look at art. So, I have these photographs at your tables. I can look over here and get ideas from these pictures as well. And then our third strategy is just to use our plain old brains. I can think about things I have seen before, things that I see as I walk around, things that I have maybe on my own house. So my memories can be a strategy too. So using those strategies, you come up with an idea. Now, one idea that I have from looking around me, like I said before, is a door handle. Now today you have two options for how to add your layers of detail. One could be, continue to collage. Maybe I want a nice purple door handle. So I might cut out a little circle to look like a doorknob. Open up Mr. Glue. Put a tiny dot on him because all we need is a little tiny bit of glue for this little tiny paper and glue it on there. Ta-da! A layer of detail. Or we have a new supply today as well. These are construction paper crayons. They are pretty cool. They will draw on top of white paper, but they will also draw on top of black paper. So I can come up with details and instead of collaging them like we have been doing, I can also add them with my crayons. The only bad thing about these crayons is that I don't have as many of them as I do regular crayons. So these are gonna sit in the middle of your tables and when you're using them, pick out one color at a time. That way everybody can be using the crayons instead of just one or two people. All right, so I'm gonna use this too. I'm gonna come up with a layer of a detail or maybe just a regular detail for my sky. So one thing that I know when I walk outside, sometimes at night, I look up in the sky and I see stars. So I'm gonna add little star shapes and make it look like it's a city at night. Hmm, I wonder what other details we can think of to add to our sky or our buildings. You guys try it. <laughs> 